So you can see we have a couple of provisioning tasks here. And you can see with as there is company news, help desk, and security alert. Now as is not going to be mapped to the executive team or the HR team comms groups. So either of those groups don't apply to as. That means that you know there's no chief in her title and they don't have HR in their department field. So that's why she is only getting those three groups that we set as a default. So this is correct. So we're going to approve that. Let's take a look at Jack. Now you can see Jack is going to get the executive team in addition to those three defaults because he does fit the mold for that, right? He has chief in his title. Now I could go show you his uh, user record and you would see if we looked at the title field, the standard field on that user record, you would see chief is in there. It says chief executive officer. Remember we use contains. But just trust me it's there, otherwise it wouldn't be here. So we're going to approve that as well and we're going to provision these users with those entitlements into G Suite. The other one should be done momentarily. All right, and they're both done. So both of those users have been provisioned to G Suite. Now let's delete one of those users. So I'm going to head to the user. Instead of just removing the application from the role, I'm going to remove the user from the role, right? So I don't have a mapping set up to assign these users, right? This is a test role. So I'm going to go to as, and I'm going to go to applications and we are going to take as out of the test role. So you can see what this looks like. We're going to remove as, and we're going to save. Go back to applications, and you can see that there is a pending task. It's a pending task to delete the user. So I'm going to prove this. So you can see that we can do this right from the user record as well as from the application, which is nice and convenient. Let's approve, deleting, and this should be done in just a second. And I just refreshed and, and they're gone. So that's how easy it is to delete users as well. Now at this stage, since we're done, we'll head back to Company Apps and G Suite. And I actually want to turn off the staging. It's just not necessary to keep that staging on. This means that I'm not going to be alerted for a task. Oh, I'm not going to be alerted for a task when there needs to be an update to an entitlement. It's really only used for testing. So we'll go back to as. I'm going to go back to applications, give as access to the test role, which has G Suite in it, as you can see. And we'll hit save. And you can see how quickly we provision this user to G Suite without a task. So it says provisioning already, and it's done.